Alright, this is the tree for now. I might look like tree tomorrow, but <laughs> there's no guarantee that it's going to be me because, well, I have my crystals and I've been chanting and sending all my energy and all my powers and all grail gifts and everything and I didn't realize at the time that my crystals had um, somehow magnetized the black auras of the people that had the black auras that were made in the Varel machine and I did not learn until I was told by a dragon yesterday that Michael Moore Prescott and Lily Trinity had black auras but now they don't and, they're, and the Varel Society and everybody they're, they're, they're all tripping out what the hell happened but then I learned yesterday that my crystals, they're in my crystals, and that my crystals have them. They, they did it on their own. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know I was doing it. But now that it's said and done, uh, but all, I was sending all, all my energies and my orgasms and my chants and everything to Jesus and to my Creator for a long time. And then yesterday I decided. Jesus don't give a fuck about me. Okay, and neither does my creator. And if they gave me that vision, wouldn't they be here helping me? Boy, I wouldn't be here alone. And I'm like, you know, I called our creator Homer for home, but guess what? It's quite clear that uh, his home ain't my home. They don't want me back. They don't want me. They don't want me as part of the family. My creator and Jesus, because all I've ever done, anybody that has ever loved me has somehow suffered for it, it seems. And all my sin, everything I've done, I sit. Um, so then, I contacted Jesus is here on earth. He's called the Lion of Judah. And he's even a Leo. <laughs> One. That's even his name. And he, um, I found out yesterday that um, any dragons that had come close and tried to spy on him or suck his energy or to mess with his energy at all because the dragons say he's perfect he's the only one in the world that's biology is perfect and every dragon and everybody that has come anywhere near his energy field or his area or anything have burned up like being flying cl too close to the sun so already drag dragons have died by coming too close to Leo's energy and aura by trying to astral project, spy on him, suck his energy, whatever completely impossible and then I realized that the baby, Michael Noel Prescott and Lily's baby that was to be Lucifer, was born with the black aura. But when he was taken back, the baby, Takatan, and told him, transferred the black aura, his aura, to me, which was the mirror magic, the power of the mirror, which is karma. Like, for instance, anybody that was coming too close to um, the lion of Judah, or the lion, real the lion. Um, I don't even know if he realized it, but they were dying, burn, burning up the mirrors. And so, because I'd been chanting and even doing my or sending out the orgasm and just the chant, and, I mean, constantly everything to him, everything. And so, I what I ended up doing was sending him all my auras, my powers, my um. I sent him Lily, Michael, Trinity, the baby, the power of the mirror. Okay, now whoever has the power of the mirror, the mirrors are the karma. Okay, you put the mirror on somebody and. It can hurt them a little, it can hurt them a lot, it can torture them, torment them, and kill them. Depending on the increment or the intensity of their karma that is put back on them. But every single one of us in this world, over throughout time, have built up so much bad karma throughout all of our lives that if it was all to be directed at any of us, we all die. The scales, or there's no way to balance it because our sin outweighs that. Yeah, and so, we have to balance um, uh, Trinity was kidnapped. Michael Noel Prescott told me about six months ago that he used to that he made his money because of the fuel and the Varel and the, his secret societies. They have um, a notebook or they have these papers with certain women's names on them in the world that they want to either produce children for them or to be sacrificed or for sex slaves. And then Michael made his money by going out and finding these girls and luring them in. And him and Lily, that's what they did to me in Trinity. They kidnapped Trinity. Nobody, she's been missing since the 4th, but nobody thinks that, would think anything happened. The reason I know that 
after this happened, they kidnapped her and have her in a cage and um, sold her, and she's supposed to be well used in the infusion and then murdered and sacrificed once the dragon is completely anchored in the little eight, Chinese eight-year-old daughter. Um, and they need me though because, well, I was told that Trinity's aura is the complete opposite of mine. I don't get it. I don't understand <laughs> what that means. I've never heard of that, but what, 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 what the way one dragon described it was that she doesn't have one. Um, but see, if somebody is cloned or a carbon copy of somebody else, you know, because genetics can do everything like that, then um, the, it's possible to transfer auras or souls or even memories or download them and everything and transfer it to the other entity or persona that was created off the original one. So for instance, if I had a clone, which I guess I have many, I have a perfect one, a Lilu, that I can have if I cooperate. Um, so Trinity, her body, when she's ready to be sacrificed or whatever, they will be able to put me in her body and go through it or um, because the baby has to sacrifice I mean the child, the daughter, in order for the reptilian, the dragon queen, to completely become anchored in this eight-year-old child, just like when she ch inhabited Mary Magdalene, Ma she told Mary Magdalene she'd already, the dragon had already killed Jesus, and Mary was pregnant with Jesus' baby, and the, the dragon said to Mary, if you do not let me inhabit your body while you're pregnant with Jesus' baby, I'm going to kill you and your baby right now. Mary knew that baby, that bloodline had to go on. So she had to let the dragon inhabit her, and then the dragon turned the rituals into satanic cult blood, I mean, just completely satanic, evil blood murder. And then when she gave birth to Jesus and Mary's baby, she nobody knew that the once lovable earth mom, because Jesus' mother and Mary Magdalene were the last queens. They were authentic queens in France. That's why the French Freemasons gave the United States the Statue of Liberty, is because a reminder. Uh, that Mary Magdalene, well her name was Mary Annette, and Jesus' mother was Alma Marie, but they were the last authentic queens, and in their castles, the Temple of the Holy Mother, they were priestesses and taught magic and healers, and King Harold, Caesar, Pilate, um, nobody could have the power to rule or reign as kings without anointing and permission from the Holy Mother, and they were about sick of that.